Good afternoon, students. Back by popular demand, Mike's going to cover making math a little bit easier without doing Common Core. So um, everybody's kind of frustrated with the whole Common Core. It makes it difficult for us to understand. It makes it difficult for some of our students to understand. So, you know, there's other ways of kind of, you know, creating a solution set. What I was approached with last uh, two nights ago, I think we you know was doing some number line action, you know, where you create a bunch of lines on another number line. You start out, you take the number thirty-eight, and then you minus some t minus ten from that, then you minus ten from that again, and you subtract another little value, maybe three or something like that, and then you you use it <laughs> later on. Um, there's another way, you know, using base ten. I think uh, um, I'm not sure. You know, now Kieran's teacher didn't use it, but I've seen this done elsewhere, um, which is, you know, creating, you know, your 10 spots there, identifying the first 10 in the, uh, in the number that you're working with. And then the second set of 10, filling the blocks up and then, you know, subtracting, you know, the four to, from the 14 to make it 10. Right. And then going from there. So these are all kind of logical problems. Um, you know, we're used to, you know, looking at subtraction problems as, you know, you got the, the, the easy subtraction problems, you know, where you've got, say, here, let me get my pen working right here, 30 minus 10, right? Most of the students can go across that and go zero to zero, zero, three minus one is two. Congratulations, student, you got a good job, right? So then you have the more complicated problems, right? We've got like 38 minus uh, 28. Right. You look at that and you're like, oh, man, shh, I could probably do that. Right. Because if I look at my ones place, eight minus eight is zero. Uh, three minus two is one. Congratulations, student. You did a good job there. That one was a little bit harder, but it was uh, because it was, wasn't quite as easy as that one, but it was still solvable. OK, so the next set of solution uh, set would be something where where the kids always get kind of flummoxed on here is that when the ones place on the bottom is different or larger uh, than above it. So now you've got say 38 minus 19. Okay, so they're looking at that going, whoa, okay, so what do you do? So usually like an old guy would go and say, well, this is uh, where I need to go and drag 10 across and make this eight and 18. And then I need to steal it from somewhere. So I steal it from that three and I make that a two. And then I do 18 minus nine. That's another, that, you know, that's a, another significant math problem you got to do, but it comes up with nine, two minus one, one, right? So you've uh, adequately solved the problem using old man math, right? So, you know, kind of trajectory to today, right? Still using some of this 10 stuff that they're doing in class. Um, then you've got your, say you've got your 38 minus 19. All right. Now, one of the things that we talked about before was making things super simple by making that the bottom number, right? The, the subtrahend into a zero, right? So what's the closest way to do that? If I take a 19 and I add one to it, it gets me 20, right? So that's pretty simple to understand add one to the 19. Now that 38 is looking really lonely, right? We're going to have to do something with it. It's jealous of the 19. It also would like one more added to it. So now we've go 38 to what? 39. Okay. So now I got 39 minus 20. Now we've taken a problem that was difficult and we've made it more simple by doing this step here, by adding the one to it. So now 39 minus 20, nine minus zero is nine, three minus two is one. We come up with the same answer as if we would have did the long way, uh, the old man way, uh, and we come up to it. It's a little bit easier to solve. So that's the trick of the day, folks. Um, you want to take the, uh, if you've got a, a complicated, menu end, which is this guy, uh, and it's above the subtrahend, the, the 19, add one to both sides, make it 20 on the bottom. Uh, another example of that one, let's say, let's say we did 13 minus uh, nine, right? So that one works too, right? So nine plus one equals 10, uh, 13 plus one equals 14, 